Hi, it's Honest John again. Got another message from Sarah Palin. Uh, you just don't get it, do you? I watched you on Fox News. Of course, you won't go on any of the other stations because, you know, Fox isn't going to ask you any questions you can't answer. Even though you know from the stuff that's leaked out that they don't have any respect for you. But you know you're safe there. But here's the thing. See, you say people are trying to shut you up. Nobody's trying to shut you up. You say people are trying to blame you for what happened in Arizona. Nobody's blaming you. What we're saying is, is that you contributed to an environment that encourages violence. And you can't do that anymore. See, what people want from you is for you to act like a responsible citizen and a grown-up. So here's how the deal works from now on. If you want to avoid the criticism, no more references to violence, no more gun sights, no more reload, and no more labeling people with inflammatory labels. See, what you're going to have to do is actually research the stuff you believe in. What's really amazing, Sarah, is that you believe in a whole lot of stuff that you know nothing about. So you're going to have to do things like read, gather information, get advisors who know what they're talking about and are not just political hacks. And then what you're going to have to do is engage in reasoned arguments arguing your position. Now I know that's going to be hard for you because you're not very bright. And it's easier to be snide and to, and to use your rhetorical tricks of violence and labeling. But that stuff won't wash anymore. So if you want to have a career from now on, you're going to have to do some hard things. You're going to have to find out what you're talking about. Now, Sarah, let me explain something to you. I'm a stand-up comic. And one thing that I have learned over the years is that what's bad for the country is good for comedy. And Sarah, you have been very, very good for comedy.